The Judge Archer is the second film from Zhu Hao Feng. Uh, I wanted to watch uh, his movies. I found two of them online for free on a website called Tubi. Anyways, uh, The Judge Archer is kind of like a Western. The Judge Archer is a person who's really skilled at martial arts and is a master of archery. And their job is to basically keep the peace because there's a lot of warlords, there's a lot of schools that pick fights with each other. It's up to the Judge Archer to show up, lay down the law, and make people, uh, you know, have peace. So at the beginning of the story, our main character is a bum who goes to a monastery and he um, basically uh, runs away from his sister being attacked and he ends up in a monastery and he escapes and he's told that the first person he meets, that'll be his name, that'll be his new identity. Of course, he bumps into a crippled man, the old Judge, um, Ar uh, judge Archer. The, he trains our hero to be a master of martial arts and an expert in the bow and arrow. And it's his job to lay down the law. So this movie can be kind of almost compared to a Western of sorts because basically the Judge Archer is a sheriff, right? He's, he's not like sworn in by the people or you know, like voting, but he's basically a self sort of a self given title because he's the, you need to have someone there to, you know, make sure there's fairness. So he shows up in the town and there are already people trying to influence him, bully him. You know, there are people trying to test him out because, you know, they can't do what they want if he's there. And he's got his martial arts prowess to, you know, basically bully people back into submission. So there's always these, these little hidden motivations. There's a woman trying to control them because she wants to assassinate an army commander who's rising to power. There's also another woman there for mysterious reasons. And this movie feels a lot less chunky than the, his debut, The Sword Identity, because um, a lot of trademarks in all of his films are apparent and done more well in this film, like um, femme fatales, hidden agendas and motivations, you know, betrayals and backstabbing, all that stuff, uh, basically, you know, shifty characters, you know, martial arts masters that are past their prime, but they want to, you know, do one last thing. All of that is done much better in The Judge Archer. It was a more compelling movie for me. I really like the uh, storyline, all the different factions that were trying to influence him or bully him or, you know, entrap him. And he's got to like, you know, have iron willpower because if he's not there, they can run free and do whatever they want. And the ending is very, a little pretentious. The ending's a little pretentious, I will admit. However, it's very poetic as well. And you can't help but kind of smile and go, yeah, that's kind of human nature. So The Judge Archer is another movie that's not for everyone. If you're a fan of martial arts movies and you um, want you want something else, you want like a different flavor of the week, you want to try something a little bit different out of your wheelhouse, then you go ahead. But this is not an action movie. This is a drama, martial arts. It's more pure about character than it is about, you know, weaponry. But there's some sweet moments. There's, there's some sweet moments in this movie. So I give uh, The Judge Archer a 6.5 out of 10.